The campaigns about raising awareness within the local community about the issue of spiritual healers, fake healers who target vulnerable people who are vulnerable through circumstances. They could have a health issue or a problem with their family or being uh, the victim of traumatic events recently. Um, and they target them for money in return for claiming to be able to heal these, these problems and make these problems go away. And in some cases they've used sleight of hand, they've used magic tricks, simple illusions to, to give the impression that they do actually possess some sort of power. It ruins their lives financially because they probably have given tens of thousands of pounds to the perpetrator. It gets them into a debt because the perpetrators are asking for more money. So when the money's not there, they take out a loan, they remortgage the house. And um, one of our victims, um, her daughter was going to get married and that ruined it because the money that they were supposed to spend on the wedding were given to the perpetrator. To change the thinking, it takes a lot of time. And many Asian peoples from generation to generation strongly believe in these sort of things. And that's why they believe in this sort of system back in their country where they come from. And they have brought their thinking with them in this country as well. They also advertise in the newspapers, in the television, and also on the radios, in the Asian news newspapers, Asian radios, Asian televisions. And people start thinking that whatever they're saying, they, that's, that's correct and that can happen. If you've got any problem, these people can, can't solve your problem. You can go to the specialist, you've got a medical problem, go to see the doctor, don't go to the fake, fake healer. The true size of the problem we don't know and if, unless people come forward and talk to us about it or talk to Citizens Advice Bureau we don't know the, the scale of the problem. I suspect it's prevalent in many communities across the East Midlands and it's something that as a result of this we, you know, we are taking really seriously and we would urge anyone first of all not to see these people and certainly if they ask for money not to part with money. If it sounds too good to be true it probably is and if they have seen people like this to come forward and to, to tell us about it.